today we are on the hunt for ghost shrimp, also known as sand shrimp. And they make really excellent fishing bait, so that's why we're out looking for them. And you can find them along the coast or within the beaches of Puget Sound. And we're looking in the mid to upper intertidal zone for them today. So the limit on these is 120 per day in Washington. The ghost shrimp create these elaborate tunnel systems underneath the sand with several holes going into them. So when the tide goes out, water stays in this tunnel system. So when you pump one hole, it sucks the water from all of the holes in that cluster network. And hopefully there's a shrimp or two in there. So this is super cool. We found a female with eggs. Usually uh, it'd be a little bit later in the season before we find the females with eggs, but this, this girl's a little early. So I think we're gonna let her go. To collect the ghost shrimp, we use this PVC shrimp pump and you can get them really at most sporting goods stores like Sportco, or you can make one yourself. There's lots of videos on YouTube showing you how to do just that. But we come out here and we look for these clusters of shrimp holes and we use our suction device, suck up some mud and water and hope there's a shrimp in there. That's a big one. <laughs> I'm stuck in the mud. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at this guy. So what we're looking for with the ghost shrimp is a series of holes all surrounding each other, kind of in a big cluster. Like most clams, it's gonna be a single hole but the ghost shrimp will have, you know, a dozen holes that are all connected with these underground burrows. So this is pretty cool. We've got a male and female ghost shrimp here. The male has that giant white claw and the female in the foreground, she has a much smaller claw. Ghost shrimp or sand shrimp are found all along the West Coast from Alaska down to Baja, California. They're commonly eaten by lots of fish, including sturgeon, salmon, surf perch, and striped bass. They're really abundant, probably too abundant now, actually. The decline of sturgeon and salmon populations has had cascading effects down to the shrimp, and without these top predators to keep the numbers in check, the shrimp populations have exploded in some places. And this is causing a lot of ecological and economic damage. In Willapa Bay, for example, in Washington, they're considered a pest. Despite the shrimp being native, they're an issue for the commercial uh, oyster beds. And the issue is that these huge shrimp populations are decimating the habitat that the oyster beds are placed on. The shrimp create their crazy system of tunnels, which makes the substrate much softer and more prone to collapse or sinking. So the oysters end up sinking down into the sand and suffocating. So there are more than enough ghost shrimp to harvest for bait, especially in places like Willapa Bay. Let's try this one. Here we go. Got one. Ty and Andrew started calling these meerkats of the mud flats last weekend because of their insane networks of burrows, similar to meerkats, I guess. But no matter what you call them, ghost shrimp, sand shrimp, meerkats of the mud flats, they make excellent fishing bait. So if you haven't tried them yet, it's worth a shot. Anyway, I hope they do well for you and tight lines, my friends.